Hey, hey, hey guys! Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw anime hands in a girl and guy version. I'll put some pictures on the screen so you know what you're getting into. For both hands, I'm going to be doing a peace sign like this, and let's get started. No matter what you're drawing, in the case of anatomy, you want to start with the basic shapes. So I'm going to start with a triangular shape, because if you look at my hand, there's kind of a triangle here. Nice and simple. You want to make sure your lines aren't too hard because you got to erase these in the future. If you continue to look at the hand, you'll notice that there is this shape here for the thumb. It's kind of like a little nub. So I'm going to draw that right now. And then you'll notice there is another shape here for these two fingers and this little piece of flesh here. This is that little piece of flesh and then I'm going to draw those two fingers right here. I'm going to draw in this little thumb shape right here. And these are just basic shapes, so they don't really have to be that perfect. And then I have the two fingers coming out like this. So you'll notice a curve over here on this part of the hand. I'm gonna draw that basic shape over here. It's important to use a reference while drawing, so in this case I'm using my own hand. And now I'm gonna draw the other basic shape over here. Because I'm drawing a female anime hand, I wanna make sure that the fingers aren't too thick because that is something seen mostly in male characters. But a female could have thicker fingers, but in most animes they have more slender fingers. So now that we have the basic shapes there, I'm just going to do some tweaking. I noticed that this kind of section looks a bit too small compared to my reference, so I'm just going to tweak some things to make it to size. So this is where the flesh bumps should be. So now that I have the basic shapes down, I am going to start putting in the details of the fingers. So. Female fingers in anime tend to be more slim and slender, more delicate, and they have this um, taper at the tips of the fingers, so we want to capture that. So I'll start with the thumb first. Due to the perspective of the thumb, the nail is right here in this section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make it a little sharper at the tip and kind of have this little curve at the bottom here. Realistically, humans don't really have a sharp point here that would just kind of emulate our fingernail. You can't really see it on mine because I have a really long nail on me. But in anime, they tend to have this tapering off at the tip of their finger. And there's a little bump of flesh right there. Don't forget the knuckles and such. But if you notice on my drawing, it's really subtle and details like knuckles aren't as prominent. And I'm going to do the pinky next, just following those basic shapes that I drew before. And again, it's kind of tapered off the tip, the next finger, just following the basic shapes. If you notice in hands, the longest finger is the middle finger. So the next longest is usually the pointer or the ring, and then it goes to the ring and then the pinky and then there's this big fat stubby thumb boy. So that's why this finger is slightly longer than this one because it's the middle one. We draw in a nice slender finger, nice and delicate. And then we have the pointer. Just gonna add a little wrist here just so it doesn't look as awkward. Now we have all the basic shapes and line work down. I'm going to quickly erase my guiding lines that I drew before. But those basic shapes that you drew in the first part are really important because it is the foundation of your hand. And if the shapes are not proportionate or they're a little off, then the rest of your drawing will be too. I'm just taking a step back, looking at it from afar and seeing if I should change anything now before I start shading and adding details like her, like her nails. I'm 
Now I'm going to be adding the nails. I'll start with the thumb because of the perspective the nail is going to end right here. So we have a little curve here for the cuticle. And it's just gonna go up like this. And you can choose to make it long or short. I think I'm just gonna keep it nice and simple, give them some short nails. Most anime characters tend to have short nails anyways. And I'm gonna kind of bring it out like that. Same with these nails. You always want to pay attention to the perspective of the finger. You don't want to just draw it straight on or it's going to look a little wonky. I'm going to do some light shading. I'm going to pretend that my light is coming from over here. From this direction. So I'm going to short shade accordingly. You can look at your own hand for reference. We do have these little lines and such, and there's actually a lot of wrinkles and creases in hands, but in anime, girls tend not to have these uh, details drawn in just to make their hands look more soft and supple and delicate. So I'm just gonna be referencing my hand, not for a lot of the wrinkles, but where the shadows kind of hit. So I kind of see a curve here, there's some light here and such, and I'm gonna follow that. When shading, you want to make sure you keep a light hand. You don't want to accidentally shade too dark and then suddenly it's really hard to blend out. Now, shading that I'm doing here is a bit more detailed than what you usually see in animes. If you want it to look more like what you would see in a televised anime show, you wouldn't be having this smooth of a blend or transition. It would just be cell shading. Things to note in the hand that I've just drawn and am currently shading in is, again, how slender the fingers are. In anime, they make their hands look so slender and delicate and um, feminine, per se, quote unquote feminine, um, especially for female characters. Many male characters also have hands that look like this. Um, in anime, they... In most animes, they tend to give all characters um, these hands. This is pretty much a universal anime hand, but in some animes, such as Jojo um, or Dragon Ball Z, they have more masculine looking hands. They tend to have thicker fingers, more pronounced knuckles, veins, details, etc. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you on this side of the page. But if you're just looking for a basic hand that most animes use, this one pretty much applies to all. Now I'm just cleaning up some lines, making it look a bit more sharp. I've said this in other videos. In anime, they tend to have really um, thick and thin lines, and it creates a very illustrative look in the drawings. So what I'm doing right now is thickening some lines, making it a bit more pronounced in areas that I want to draw attention to, such as the fingers and um, the general outline of the hand. And this just gives it a more cartoony anime look. And there you go, you have a female anime hand. Now I'm gonna get on to the male one. This time I'm going to emphasize the wrinkles, knuckles, veins, and such of the hand. Um, female hands in anime tend to look kind of like bread. They're soft, delicate, very, very smooth looking. But male hands in anime, in anime such as Jojo or Dragon Ball Z, they have thicker fingers, a bit more details, and just a bit more not like soft white bread. Just like the female hand, we're going to start with the basic shapes. Start with a triangle. And since male hands are larger, I'm going to start a bit lower on this page since it will be taking up more space. We have this basic triangle shape. Now I'm gonna move on to this fleshy part. And since male hands are so much larger, I'm going to be using more basic shapes this time. And of course, they're going to be larger. And because I'm going to be using more basic shapes, there will be more detail in my final drawing. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna get started on these fingers. I'm going to be drawing in the knuckles, even though I didn't draw the knuckles in for this one. This hand requires more detail, so I'm going to draw that in.
time for this finger, draw the knuckle here. And time for the fingers. You'll also notice that the fingertips on the male hand are tapered like the female one, but they're still thicker. This little bump I'm adding here is just this bone that you see in humans over here. And now that I have the line worked down, I'm going to be erasing my basic guiding lines. I'm going to be drawing in some details like the wrinkles in the hand here, over here, and some wrinkles here, here. There are a lot more details in male hands in anime, so I'm going to take my time to draw in the details for it here. And I'm going to be drawing in the fingernails. Unlike female fingernails, male nails in anime tend to be a bit more short. I mean, both female and male characters in anime have short nails, but if there is an anime that has this type of hand, it's very obviously someone that has masculine traits. So the animators tend to make their nails really short, like all the way down so there is some flesh that is at the tip of the fingernail it's not completely covered by a nail again you want to really think of the perspective while drawing the nail looking back now i kind of see that the hand looks a little off here so i'm gonna quickly fix that I think that looks a lot better. So now I'm going to shade this hand like I did the female hand with the light source coming from this direction. And just like the female hand, I'm going to make some lines thick and thin just for that illustrative look. And here's the final piece. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you like it a lot, please share it with a fellow art nerd, and if you love receiving quality and free art education, subscribe.